Hello and good evening to all the students, pre-intermediate. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How was your weekend? You had a good weekend? Did you have, did you have a good weekend? Yes, it was. Did, did yes, you did. have a good weekend? Uh, yes, it did. did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I had. Yes, I did. It's correct. Yes, I did. Um, was your weekend relaxing? Was your weekend relaxing? Hello, hello. Was your weekend relaxing? Like relaxing? No, it wasn't. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Maybe next weekend is better for you. I hope. Did you go out? Yes. Guys, did you go out this weekend? Did you go out? No, I didn't. Only because... Elizabeth is answering me, huh? Go ahead, Elizabeth. Go ahead. No, it didn't because it was raining. Yes, that's true. That's true. We have, well, these last days we have been having a very rainy uh, season. Um, and yeah, many places have been affected. Trees have been falling down, affected the traffic. Uh, you know, there affected are some. The, sound, the, heaven. the what? What did you say? Yes. Come on, talk to me. Test your audio, guys. Say welcome. Say hello. We're ready to start our class. We're practicing simple pause, guys. This is other level. Answer me. Answer me. Talking about this weekend. Talking about this weekend. What did you do? Information question. What did you do this weekend? Raise I your slept. virtual hand. Go ahead, Elizabeth. I slept. I I slept um, last weekend because the weather is raining, and I ate in at home, and I watched. TV. Watch the movies. Movies? Okay. Yes. Okay. How Thank you for that. How about you, teacher? What? Well, I worked on only on Saturday morning. I taught uh, an in-person class. It's good. Uh, it was nice. And um, on Sunday in the morning, I went to church, had lunch with my father, and did some, you know, chores at home. 
After that, I took a nap. You know, I took like um, two hours, three hours nap. So it was it was a good weekend. Thank you for asking. What about you? What about you guys? What did you do this past weekend? Uh, I studied to my English class. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. That's great. Thank you. What about you, classmates, students? What did you do this past weekend? Tell us, what did you do Saturday? What did you do Sunday? Uh, what did you eat? Anything special? Did you go anywhere special? Did you meet someone new? Did you learn new things? What did you do? On Saturday, I went to visit a, a, an aunt with my mother-in-law and my kids and enjoyed all the afternoon with her. And we had dinner together and we ate pizza. Hey, that's a nice, that's a nice visit. That's like a good, uh, like, um, gathering like like a reunion right where you spent time quality time family quality time that's the best that's a good weekend jessica i'm happy for you good job no observations no no observations no corrections okay good job somebody else please what did you do? What did you do this past weekend? Tell us about your weekend a little bit, huh? Tell us anything that you can possibly share. I'm all ears, come on. Come on, come on, practice time. We're trying to use Action verbs and the simple pass of the verb to be. Do you remember the simple pass of the verb to be? Yes. What is the past of the verb to be? Was and where. Was and where. For example, me, I was, yes, I was in Soyapango City on Saturday in the morning. Yes, I was, I was teaching an English class over there. Um, then at noon, I had lunch with my dad. Yes, he drove his car to a restaurant, but I paid the bill. <laughs> okay, so what about you? What did you do? Did you stay home? What do you do if you stay home? Go ahead. Speaking time. I'm listening. I don't understand you. <laughs> The question is, what did you do in this past weekend? Tell us. Mm. Yes. I just told you what I did. So I want to know what you did. And I want you to use verbs in simple past. And I want you to use was and where. OK. Uh, I was uh, in the store and I buy um, a blouse. You buy or you bought? I bought. I bought a blouse. Nice. And after I I was in the in the shopping center, huh? Uh, yes. In the shopping mall. And buy a, and bought a, a shoes. A pair of shoes. A pair, a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. 
Nice. And after I, I returned to my home. Oh, nice. You you are a, a good girl. You're a good girl, right? That's nice. That's nice. Good yes. job. Good try. Remember, you need to switch. And you, when you say affirmative, you need to use the verbs in simple past. Uh huh. You need to try, guys. You need to try to say statements in negative. For example, I didn't go out. Yes. Um, I didn't go to the cinema. Or I didn't go to the park. I didn't visit my friends. Yes. So try to add affirmatives and negatives. Yes. Next, please. Next student. Okay. I didn't play uh, basketball on Saturday. And last Saturday. Okay. Okay. Thank you for the information. And that's correct. Somebody else? Me. On Saturday, go I didn't go to the church because it was raining. And it's true. Yeah. Every morning. Mm -hmm. And the weather was nice. I like. Didn't 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 you have an umbrella? <laughs> yeah, but, but my family wasn't uh, didn't want. To go. Yeah. What and was the problem? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they say that, but the rain. Were... <laughs> the rain, the weather, you know, yeah. parents, parents mm -hmm. worry about, you know, <laughs> uh, you getting a, a fever or, or a cough or, or a cold or something like that. So yeah. They are protective. That's good. That's good. But but next weekend you you will go, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow. Hey, nice job. Nice job. You combine affirmative, you combine negative, you combine was. I like that. That's how you have to prove that you dominate the simple past. Yes? Saying affirmatives, saying negatives. And you can make questions also, right? Using did you, yes? Or using the WH words, what did you do? Where did you go? What did you eat? What time did you uh, get up on Saturday, etc. Somebody else wants to try? Somebody else has a participation? No more. Well, thank you so much for the participation, Jancy, Sandra. Great job, Jessica. Jessica, let's try to use was and where, okay? In your simple past, try to make paragraphs. In your simple past, using was and where, and I want you to include negative statements, like things you, you, didn't, you didn't do, right? For whatever reason, right? Just for you to, to, to show that you dominate the simple past tense. You can do it. Sandra, good job. Quien okay, mas lo hizo? Let me see. I will try. Elizabeth, of course. You're really intelligent. Elizabeth, nice job. The only problem, Elizabeth, you know what it is, is that uh, you don't have your camera activated. And remember, those are some requirements that Insafor asks you for to have your camera activated and to have active listening and active participation. Welcome everyone to the class. With this being said, let's go to the session. Please confirm. If you can visualize my screen, let me know. Yeah, I can see. You can see it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Awesome, awesome. All right, people, let's get started. This is objective number three. Let me ask Elizabeth Mejia, 
help us reading the objective in English, of course, in English. Oh, oh excuse me, I understand in Spanish. But in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about place in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Awesome, good reading skills, Elizabeth. Let's move on. I'm going to maximize this video so we can see it better. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and so Wait, guys, I don't, I don't know if you can see the screen better than myself. No, teacher. Let me try, let me try to refresh because it doesn't look well for some reason. Give me one second, please. I'm going to try to um, reopen it. Hopefully it works. Because I don't think my internet is the problem. But let's check. Is it raining where you are right now, guys? No. What's not? Unfortunately. Hearing. No. Is it? Well, I live in San Salvador and it is not raining okay. right now. Yeah, I was asking you if it's raining where you are right now. No. no? Okay. <laughs> you guys are very quiet today. Are you quiet? Are you are you shy today? What happened? You need to speak to me. You need to practice your English with me. You don't practice. I cannot correct you. I cannot help you. Yes? You need to practice your English. Um, remember, there is a saying around. It says, use it or lose it. So if you don't use it, you will lose it. So you better use it. Yes? So you can learn more and more and improve and improve and get better and get fluent. Okay, can you see it better this time? Is it working better? Yes, teacher. Yes. Awesome, yes. awesome. Let me know if you can hear well, okay? If you cannot hear, let me know, please, also. Any and some. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Awesome. Welcome everybody to section eight. What's your neighborhood like? As we always do, we listen to a conversation in order to get ready for our topics, which will include places around town, location, and there is, there are. In this session, you will listen to a conversation between neighbors asking about places in town. Pay attention to there is, there are, one, any, and some. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? So the... 
the grandma is suggesting a barber, a barber shop. shop? <laughs> Why do you think she is suggesting a barber shop? There is, there are. <laughs> because, because he he's fashion. He's golden. long hair. <laughs> yeah. Because because he, he has, has long hair. He has, yes. He looks like homeless. <laughs> he looks like a homeless. That's a good one. Yes, because nowadays it's, it's not really the best fashion to, to have long hair, right? Because, you know, the fashion changes so much. <laughs> but you're right. You're totally right. Okay, so uh, let's notice um, the use of there is and there are. Of course, there is is for singular nouns. Yes, singular nouns. For example, in the conversation, um, she says there is one, or she's, she's, she's referring to a laundromat. There is a laundromat. Right. Um, for example, here it says there is a barber shop. There's, um, of course, when you use there's, you need to use the article a or an because you're talking about one of something. Okay, not a person. Right. Um, and um, when you use there are, uh, that's plural, right? So you don't need the article. What you have to do is that you need to put the noun. You need to make sure the noun is in plural. For example, let's check here. There is one, Is uh, this is a question, is there, okay? The verb to be in the first place. Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't see one with there are. Hmm. You have any question about this conversation? Do you have any vocabulary that is not familiar to you? Yeah. What is I by the way? That's a very elegant uh, expression. By the way, repeat, by the way. By the way. By the way. Yes, I have told you, I have told you to use well, yeah, when you open an idea, right? And uh, you can include this one too, by the way. Which in Spanish means por cierto, right? Its abbreviation is like this. People always, I'm sorry, it's by the way, like this. I'm sorry, it's BTW. Uh, people abbreviate by the way using BTW. <laughs> so it's an elegant expression. By the way, like the lady said, by the way, right? There's a barber shop in the shopping center too. And the guy was like, a barber shop? <laughs> what do you mean? So any other questions so far? So far, so good? No, question. no more questions? Okay, uh, I have questions. Can you identify any verb in simple past? Moved. Moved. Move. Repeat, guys. Move. move. Simple present. Move. Moved. Move. Simple past. Move. Moved. Move. Moved. 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 Repeat. Move. Move. Moved. Moved. Okay. Another one. Is there another one? Mm, I think no. Okay. That was that was the only very simple pass. Okay. Next question. Can you go ahead and identify the nouns in the conversation? I. I is a pronoun. It's a subject uh, pronoun. Noun is what substitutes the pronoun. I'm sorry? You say noun. Noun. N-O-U-N. Noun. Huh? Uh -huh, uh huh? I got you guys. I got you. <laughs> uh -huh. Neighbor. 
Neighbor, yes, of course. That is a noun, yes. What else? Grocery store. Grocery store, thank you. Only Jans is participating, okay. What else? What else? Street. What else? Sorry? Street. Shopping center. Street, could be, yes. Shopping center, yes. Um... Barbershop. Barbershop. Barbershop, of course. Laundromat. Laundromat. Repeat, laundromat. 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 What, what's a laundromat? Do you know what a laundromat is? Laundromat. Do you know what a laundromat Lavador. is? Yes. Lavanderia. 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 Do, do we have laundromats in El Salvador? Uh, rare. Yes, rarely. Yes. Rarely. Think so? Because dry clean is different, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So laundromat is a place, a location where they have a bunch of washing machines, right? So many people go to wash their clothes over there. They put a coin, they put a dollar in it, right? Yeah. Similar, similar. And okay. the, the laundromat, well, I know there is some Sisimil Street. No kidding. There is yes. one. I need to go. I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take my clothes over there. <laughs> All right. Good job. Good participation. Let's practice the conversation, okay? Teacher Kalev is going to be Jack. He will interpret Jack's role. Students, you will all interpret Mrs. Day's role. You ready? Give your best pronunciation. Yeah. Remember, if you have noise in the background, you better not open your microphone, okay? Let's do it. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, yes, yes. there are some. Uh, on some on Pine Street. Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, well, I think I there is a grocery store. Ah, oh, thank you. By the By way, way there's a barber shop A barber shop? I don't yes. need a barber shop. Look, I'm bald. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's switch. Let's switch. Okay, you guys start. You're gonna be. You're gonna interpret Jack's role. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Be careful with this word. It's pronounced near, near, here, near, which here, means near, cerca here. de aquí, right? Near, near here. Yeah. Yes. Um, you start on three, two, one. Let's go. Excuse, Excuse me. me. I'm, I'm your, your new, new neighbor, Jack. Jack. I, I just, just moved in. 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 Oh, yes. I'm, I'm looking for a grocery store. store. Are, there are, there are there any around, around here? here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, oh, good. Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barbershop? Barber barber shop. Shop. <laughs> yeah, barbershop is only for men, right? Barbershop is only for men. How do you call the place that is for women? Is it a Beauty barbershop salon? too? Beauty salon. Beauty salon. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's move on. 
So pretty much we're gonna have the next objective. We're going to learn about how to ask questions using their is and using their are. Okay. Um, is the same, is the same all um, uh, mechanisms, guys. You have to you have to be able to say a positive sentence, a negative yeah. sentence and questions. It's how you have to dominate these topics. Um, there is, is for singulars, right? There are, is for plurals, okay? And we're gonna use some and we're gonna use any. Let's check. Hi everyone, welcome back to another session. This time we'll learn to ask if there is or not a particular place in town. We'll go over prepositions of place, which will help us give directions. In this session, participants will learn how to ask and answer questions with there is, there are, one, any, and some. There is, there are, one, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. We're going to pronounce these prepositions are very important for you to dominate. Meaning and pronunciation. Please repeat after me. On. 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 Next to. Next to. Next to. Next to. Next to. Near. Near. Somebody has noise in the background. I can hear some dogs barking like, wah, wah, wah. right? Be careful, be careful. Um, so I told you this one is near. 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 Okay. Or you can say um, close to. Okay. Close to. Close to. Uh, people prefer to use near. Right? Near. It's more common. Okay. Across from. Across, across from. from. Repeat. Across from. Across, across from. from. Opposite. 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 In front of. In front, In front of. of. We, we, we kind of link the words together, right? In front of. In front, mm -hmm. of. In, in front, front of. of. Excellent. Repeat. In front of. In front, in front of. of. In front of. Yes, you can say in, in front of the library, but you know, native speaking, in front of. In front of. In front of. Excellent. Uh, repeat. In back of. 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 Or behind. 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 Lips open. Lips open, please. Behind. 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 Lips open. Okay. Good. Um, between. 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 Lips between. open again. Between. 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 Okay. On the corner between. off. On the corner. On the corner off. On the corner off. 
on the corner. 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 No me, no me digan corner, ¿verdad? No me, no me estén leyendo en español. Corner. Let's put some papa caliente corner. right there on your pronunciation. Corner. Corner. Yes. Corner. Repeat. On, on the, the corner. corner. On the corner. Now, now, repeat. On, on the, the corner. corner. Of? On the, on the corner. On the corner. Between, between, behind, in back of, in front of, in front of, opposite, 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 opposite across from. Across from lips close across from across from okay um close to close to near close to near 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 next to next next to next to on Oh. Oh. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Now, now, do you have any question about the meaning of any of these uh, prepositions? Do you do you understand each preposition? Opposite is como del otro lado. Es, es el, the synonym of across from es como al otro lado de la calle right but the most it's more common to say see sí, el lado opuesto uh -huh, is across from mm -hmm. it's more common around let me see estaba ahí ah, ah no me pusieron esa around no la veo okay anyways no. um the example says, is there? Remember, the verb to be in the first position makes a question. Is there a laundromat near here? Repeat. Is there a laundromat near here? Is there a laundromat You're asking, you are asking for the existence of certain place, but one, repeat, is there is there a laundromat near here? Is there a laundromat near here? Near? 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 I start, I start. Is there a supermarket near here? Repeat. Is there, is there a supermarket Sandra Campos, continue. Make a question. Um, is there a gas station near here? That's good, that's good. Excellent. Jancy, continue, make a question. Change the is place, there, just switch the place. Okay. Is there any charge in front of the bank? Okay, okay, sounds good. Elizabeth, can you make a question? Mejia. Is there a cinema near here? <laughs> Ooh, entertainment you're thinking on entertainment Jessica Castro make a question make it interesting feel like a tourist is feel like a tourist a... <laughs> is there a dollar city near here <laughs> that's a good one okay uh, let me see Carlos make a question Is there a... Don't forget the article because is... Is... Singular. 
is there a where Campero near here? Oh my goodness, we're making promotion around here. We're gonna charge them money. Okay. Uh, Marina, can you make a question? Don't forget the article. Is there a bank, a bank near here? Is there a bank? Yes. Is there a bank? Good question. Samuel, make a question. Is there a stadium near here? Near here? <laughs> Is there a stadium? Is there a stadium near here? <gasps> That's a big question. All right, good job, people. Good job. This is a singular question. Possible answers. If it's affirmative, you gotta say, yes, there is. Repeat, yes, there is. Yes, yes. yes. there is. <laughs> In this answer, you cannot make a contraction. Okay, because it's a sure answer. You cannot use a contraction here. You say, yes, there is. And then you give the additional information. You give the direction. There is one, repeat, there's one. There is one. one. And, and, and this one, what is it? What is this one representing? What is this one representing? The laundromat. Yes. You're not you don't need laundromat. to you don't need to repeat oh yes there is a laundromat. No, you don't need to repeat because laundromat is in the question. Yes. So in the answer you say one. There is one. There is one and you give the preposition, the direction across from the shopping center, or there is one next to the bank, or there is one um, behind uh, the <laughs> museum. Library. Yes, yes. Or yes, there is, there's one behind the bank. Yes. Oh, yes, there is one. There is one near the, um, near the uh, clinic. Yes. I don't know. Make a choice, use your creativity. And when you say a negative, you say, no, there isn't. Here you can use the contraction of is not, which is isn't. Repeat, no, there isn't. No, no there, there isn't. isn't. Repeat, no, there isn't. Yes, there is. Yes, there, yes, is. there is. There, yes, there is. Yes, 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 yes there, there is. is. No, there yes. isn't. No, no, no there isn't. isn't. Look, it's negative, right? No, there isn't. But we still, we still help. We still give additional information, important information, valuable information for the tourist. Yes, but there is one. There is one, but but there is one next to the library, yes? But there is one, uh, I don't know, behind the hotel, etc. Okay? Pero si definitivamente no hay ninguno, entonces ahí sí. No, there isn't. I'm sorry. Okay? So that's in singular. Let's make questions in singular. I'm gonna ask a question and let's see if you have an answer for me, okay? Excuse me, students. Is there is there a park in your neighborhood? No, there isn't any park here. No, <laughs> No, there isn't. Okay. Yes, there is. Uh -huh. There's one. There's one next to the library. Yes! You got it! That's the way, yes. Using a preposition, giving a direction, giving a point of reference. Guys, 
these prepositions are used for you to give a point of reference when somebody is asking you for something. Yes? Okay? Jessica, you're going to practice with one classmate and you're going to uh, say a question. Excuse me, is there a museum? Is there a supermarket? Is there a laundromat? Is there a bank near here? Is there a taxi station near here maybe? I don't know. Use your creativity as you know. And your big team, your classmate will choose whether it's positive or negative. Remember, you always have to give additional information. Okay? Let's go, uh, Jessica. Who is the classmate you choose? Um, Sara Marie. Sara? Where is Sara? Can you hear us, Sara? Hello. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Action. Um, excuse me. Is there a pet shop near here? Yes. A pet shop. Sí. Pet shop. Sería tienda de mascota, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yes. De there is, there is, um, no sé cómo decir. Um, there's one, there's, there's one. There's one. And then the preposition. In front the, 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 the mall, the, the, the centro comercial. In front of the, in front of the. In, of, in front of the. Mall. Mall, mall, mall. Usualmente, Entonces, chicos, siempre después de esta preposición viene el artículo de. T H E. Okay. Mall. Mm -hmm. Usually, right? Usually. Take that into account. Good job. Good drill. Vamos a escuchar. Uh, vamos a ver. Emma, are you ready, Emma? Emma and Samuel. Emma, you make the question. Go. Is there a school in your house? Yes, there is. There's one uh, next to the gas station. Okay. Good job. Repeat, near, here. Near, near, here. Here. Near, here. Near, here. Near, here. ¿Qué otra palabra podría escuchar? Esta, esta, esta preposición acá, around. Is there a, a laundromat around? You could, you could also use that one too. Oh. Okay. Um, guys, we also have the plural forms. And the plural forms we're going to use are there. And we're not going to use the article no more. We're going to use any. Um. Yes? Remember? In the singular form, is there, you use the article a, yes? Because it's singular. In the plural form, you use any because it's plural. Are there any grocery stores around here? Around here? Uh -huh. Are around there any grocery here. stores? Plural, stores around Gross. here? Hmm. Affirmative. Yes, there are. And you give the directions. There are some. Yes, plural. Some nice stores. Stores, again, in plural. Stores. And you give the direction using the preposition on Pine Street, for example, on Main Street, on Monsignor Romero Street, uh, etc., using our information. When there is negative, you say, no, there aren't. Repeat, no, there aren't. No, there aren't. No, there aren't. And you always give additional info, but there are some on Third Avenue. 
But there are some on the avenue. Oh, if it's totally negative, you say no, there aren't any around here. I'm sorry. Okay. No, there aren't any around here. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any questions so far? Okay, so Elizabeth is going to choose one classmate to make a drill. Uh, Miss Elizabeth Mejia, choose if you're gonna make singular or plural question mm -hmm. to a classmate. Who is the classmate? Who is the classmate? Who, um, let me, let me. Let choose me, one, me. choose ah, one. Patricia, student. Veronica. Patricia, are you there? Patricia, yes. Veronica. Oh, yes. yes, there she is, there she is. Patricia, I can't see you very well. Can you, can you uh, yes. put your camera down a little bit? I only see your fan and your roof. Oh, there you are. There you are. Okay, great. <laughs> Okay, ready for the question, let's go. Are any... Are there? Uh, I'm, excuse me. Are there any libraries around here? No le escuché, perdón. Can you okay. repeat, please? Can you repeat, please? Okay. <clears throat> Are there any libraries around here? Um, yes, yes, there are. Uh, there are uh, between. There are some. There are, there are some. some. There are some between um, the shopping center and the library. 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 Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Patricia. <laughs> Patricia, thank you. Thank you. How do you how do you respond when I say thank you? You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Repeat, guys. You're welcome. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. See, remember, in English, you gotta be very formal, right? So when you say when I say thank you, you have to respond. You and, and that's the verb to be welcome. Or you can say anytime. Anytime. Repeat anytime. 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 Or you can say you bet. Repeat you bet. You bet. You bet. You bet. You bet. You bet. All right, Miss. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Who else do we have? <laughs> okay, Samuel, you're going to make a drill with the classmate. Choose your classmate now. I love this moment. Uh, Ana Margarita Marquez. <laughs> Sounds like a celebrity. Miss Miss Ana Margarita, are you there? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Action. Excuse, excuse me, Ana Margarita. Are you there any schools? No. Perdón. Are you are there are there any drugstore around here? Drugstore or drugstores? Drug tours. Drug Are there stores. any drugstores around here? Repeat. Are there any drugstores around here? 
Excellent. Okay, Patricia, Veronica, helper, Patricia. Yes. Are there any drugstores uh, around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice store in on uh, Pine Street. All right, on Pine Street. On Pine Street. Thank Pine you Street. so much. Nice. Now, remember, pronunciation is very important. Uh, sometimes we confuse this pronunciation with the subject pronoun they. Be careful. They is for a group of persons or they is for a group of objects or animals. Okay. Um, the pronunciation here is there. There. For example, is there, if it's singular, are there, if it's plural, and this is questions, okay? So we're gonna finalize with the last drill. I wanna hear, I wanna hear Marina making a question to one classmate to, to finish the class. Yes, Marina, can you choose one classmate and practice? Please. Carlos Fernando. Carlos Fernando, yes, he's a good victim. Yes, I'm here. Go ahead. Hi, Carlos. Are there any <clears throat> swimming pools near here? Near here? Uh, are there any any <laughs> Any what? <laughs> Excuse swimming me. Pools. Can you repeat? <laughs> Swimming pools. No, they aren't. But there are some uh, in back of gym. The gym. In back of the, the gym. gym. Mm. In back of mm. the gym. Be careful. Be careful. Hey, there. Not they. There, be careful, okay? <laughs> nice job, Marina, nice job, Carlos. Let me see, Emma, Emma, choose one participant and make a question, let's go. Open your microphone. But I can see. Jan C, of course. She's my favorite big team. Yes. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Is there a gas station around your house? Mm, there is no so near close to my house because, but there is one from a ver, let's see uh, how can i say in english cuadra cuadra block, block. okay Good job, there is there is one No sé cómo Quieres decir como a, a unas ciertas cuadras, ¿cierto? Ajá. Ahí vas a usar la preposición away. Por ejemplo, si son eh, cinco cuadras, vas a decir five blocks away. Ah, ok. Ajá. There is one four, five blocks away to my house. Ok. Guys, congratulations. Uh, you are very participative. Thank you for your commitment, your concentration, your participation, your effort. 
I'm very emotional right now. Um, but thank you for your participation in this hour of classes. You are learning so much. Uh, please pay attention to the corrections, okay? And I will see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. shop. Have a good sleep. Have a good rest. Have a good night. So long. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye, teacher. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. See you, see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Be safe. Bye. Practice your English. Use it or lose it. See you later. Thanks.